it's really nice to meet you all. And uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to be part of this project. Uh, my name is Bianca Cristiana Oltano and I'm a PhD student uh, at the Babes Polje University in Cruz Napoca. Um, I have to say that so far I haven't actually been connected to uh, clothing or textiles, but in some aspects to colors and pigments. Um, as a short introduction, I've done my BA in Ancient History at the University of Bucharest in Romania. My first MA in Classical and Mediterranean Archaeology at Leiden University in the Netherlands. Uh, my second MA in um, Ancient History with a focus on archaeology at the University of Bucharest in Romania. And now, as I said, I'm a PhD student at the Bali University in Cluj Napoca. Um, okay. Um, during my first uh, MA in Leiden, I started dealing with theoretical concepts such as identity, agency, ethnicity, and gender. In my thesis, um, I've discussed about appropriating Greek and, and uh, Egyptian material culture in late Republican Rome. The focus uh, was on the evolution of most significant monuments in Rome during this time and how the foreign material culture was um, influenced this and how was it perceived by the Roman population and integrated into their own culture. Uh, for my uh, PhD, I do focus on decoration, basically all the elements that constitute the decoration of public monuments. Um, but this would be uh, architectonic decoration of public monuments in Colonia Ultia Traiana Augusta Dacica Sadnice Getuza. As I said, with a focus on mostly marble pieces used for decoration, including details of altars, inscription, frames, uh, pilasters, capitals, architraft, fragments. Um, I do hope that I will be able to study each um, monument individually and I will try to create a typology of objects and establish a chronology and then try to correlate the monuments with each other and see how this um, decoration will evolve, evolve in time. Um, these kind of fragments are usually overlooked uh, or left out for studies because um, their concept is not so, as, not as important as the larger structures, but actually the details are significant for the evolution of a monument and for what it, um, for how it is seen by others and how it is understood in context. An aspect that I would want to include later in my studies is the tracing of color pigments um, on these fragments and how uh, the co and how colors were used in decorating public monuments. Of course, in case this can actually be seen um, in our fragment, the fragments that I will study. Um, these are like a few examples of what decoration and um, would look like and what I'll be dealing with in case of um, inscription um, frames. A part of my study uh, deals with mural paintings as well. Um, we found in, um, in the case of the Palmyrian temple, a temple dedicated to the Palmyrian gods in Sadim Sijetuza, uh, we found some frescoes that actually belonged to a domus in a um, previous uh, phase. So in 2020, a doctor of Idiots and, and I published an article in theoretical Roman um, archaeology journal and we, where we dealt with concepts such as space and place and how this, uh, how this influence the local communities and also our perception over a monument. I looked at the frescoes and tried to, to create a possible reconstruction and to analyze them and the motifs that were used in decorating the walls. Um, furthermore, I would like to learn more about how colors, accessories and items of clothing um, we, were used in statuary art, in altars, votives and decorative panels and how these were perceived in ancient times, especially in regards to the provincial art. Also applying theoretical concepts in order to understand more about how to translate uh, an image as a whole by taking into consideration all the aspects depicted. Addressing gender and social status by looking at the nature of the pigments used and of the colors of, of paint. We know that some pigments were uh, far more expensive than others. So, and that certain garments were restricted to a certain number of individuals due to their social status and position in the hierarchy of power. So nevertheless, by displaying these kind of items, whether they are clothing or uh, expensive paintings, the position of the individual was immediately recognizable by the others. So agency is an important factor to take into consideration when dealing with 
ancient art in all its form. And this translates to monuments as well. So by understanding how color, pigments, and details were used and obtained, we can have a more complex perspective over the past uh, societies. Um, this will be the end of my uh, presentation because I said I, I haven't actually dealt with uh, textiles so far or with clothing, but mostly with um, monuments and how colors and pigments were included in, in them. Thank you very much for, uh, for the opportunity.